heck are you doing in my apartment? Stephen, I was right about you all along. Nobody can handle Rick the way Melinda Lewis can. Got that? Ladies, ladies. So why don't you give up? Take my money and run. God. I don't think any explanation could justify what you did, Roxy. He trusted you. He liked you. He's on his way to Alaska with our new regional manager, Mr. Hampton. Mr. Hampton. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll see to it those drills just never work. No, Billy can't do that. Then I bumped into the organic blue soil. Strength the same man who's working for two rival oil companies at the same time. So, Kyle, blackmailed you into buying I get it. I, I understand it. Having somebody come into your life and saving your sister. You still don't believe me? No. No, I know you must be. Okay. I got a total on the cash. How about those receipts? Just, Here to stay, sister. <laughs> you stay out of my life, you hear me? Out. You have been on this accelerated program too long. It's time you had a little change of pace. Wait a minute. I am the future doctor around here, and I say that I need a change of pace. Good. been treating you not one bit. Stop it! I don't want First to... of all, there's that Samson girl contest. You don't show the whole night, even though you know she needs you real bad. Six weeks ago. I can't be. Go ahead and say it. I'm pregnant, aren't I? No. No. Roxy, there's nothing to worry about. You are not pregnant. Jackson didn't do anything to me. The truth is, I'm afraid I did hurt her. So, how's the Samson girl? Damn that Samson girl contest! We had just managed to stain ourselves into the corner. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was. Each other. I sure do. But when I think of all those years I wasted running away, it makes me sick. Look, you may not want to hear this, but he and I were getting along just fine before you walked in. That's it. 
time you and me got something straight. Give me the fire department. This is Lewis Oil. Yeah, we've got a fire in our office. What is going on here? You just can't respond. You blow the place up. All right, I'm finished. Yeah, let me see. What do you think? I'm stupid? No. No. If you two don't pay for it. I warned you to stay away from Christine. Or else what? Don't go. You have to. I won't. Roxy, it's for your own good. Come just to see me, Roxanne. of you are good enough to lick a Lewis boot. We don't lick anybody's boot. <laughs> Read my lips. You don't belong here. When are you just going to wise up and leave Springfield? When For hell good. freezes over, that's when, baby. My sister needs me here to protect her, and I'm going to do it from the likes of people like you. I wasn't innocent either. Believe me, I liked the money, and I liked living in the fast lane. Didn't matter what I called myself. The fact remained, I was a hooker, a prostitute, a call girl. And one night, and one night I was hired by Kyle Sampson. Wait, whoa, whoa. Honest. We are sick and tired hearing about your reformations, mister. Roxy. You never change for the better. You just keep on getting worse and worse. Well, don't talk like I that. I cannot believe I started to get suckered in by you. Roxy, darling. Don't, I'm not your darling. You're my daughter, honey. I am not your daughter. I am not your honey. Why don't you just get out of Springfield and leave me and Reva alone? Just give me a chance. Just leave us alone. Get out. Roxy. Your past is catching up with you, girl. And when I'm done, everyone in Springfield's gonna know you're nothing but a common whore. Oh! Reva is the only one that you care about. H.B. has been more of a father to me than you ever, Roxy! Stop it! It's time for me to leave this life. I don't think they understand.
saying that you just had platonic feelings for Christine? Yes. Did you love her like a sister? No! See? I know it! You don't know anything. Yes, she's beautiful and she's sexy. Ah! Go way back, Roxy. She's always had some kind of power over me. That's it. I'm out of here. And I'd probably still be with her now if it weren't for you! Honey, I... heard me. What do you want? Okay. We're out of ketchup. Anything else? Just in case. about you, Roxy. Even when I'm talking to Christine, I realize it's your reaction I want. When we talk about the future, it's you I see there with me. When I reach for Christine, it's you. It's you. Always you. I'm falling in love, Roxy. Johnny Bowers falling in love with me. <laughs> Johnny Bowers falling in love with me. <laughs> <laughs>
Learned that one from my dad. This stream will. I promise. You're not turning into a pessimist on me, are you? This time, just being a realist. 